In this video, we're going to learn how to tie fluorocarbon musculators. I have 80 pound fluorocarbon. This happens to be a brand called Opsin. Greg from Opsin was cool enough to send me some of this to try out. So we're going to use this. Now I recommend that you go no lower than 80 pound tests for muskies. And honestly, you should probably use 100 or more. 100, some guys use 130 pound uh, fluorocarbon. I stick with 100, but I do use 80 in some situations. So this is what I got laying around, and this is what we're going to use. You're going to want to give yourself quite a bit of line to play with. I would say at least two feet, probably two feet would be a good uh, place to start. And we have, I have stay lock snaps here. I like to use stay locks versus other types of uh, feeder clips. So we're gonna throw that on and I'm gonna flip the camera around so it's like a point of view that you would be seeing if you were tying it. And let's get started. We got our leader, we got our stay lock. We're just gonna put that on and we're gonna tie what's called a Centauri knot. So you're gonna wanna give yourself what six to eight inches of tag. Centauri knots are what most guys use when they tie musky leaders including some of the more mass produced leaders like stealth or whoever. And we got our main line we want our main line to be on the bottom and our tag up top and we're just gonna make a loop. Just one singular loop and then we're gonna pinch it with our thumb and pointer finger and you want your main line to be coming out horizontal and your tag line to be coming up through the t like up top all right give me a second here I got this backwards okay now while keeping it pinched we're gonna take our tag and we're gonna wrap it around our finger and the main line so there's, we're going to do it three times. There's one full wrap, two full wraps, three full wraps. So you can see we have three wraps. And we're just going to take our finger without letting anything go. Keep pinching down. And we're just going to kind of slide that, those three wraps off of our finger. So then you have what looks like this. We have our main line right here and our three loops and there's a top opening and a bottom opening of those three loops. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our tag and we're going to put it through the top loop from behind. So it looks like that. And now the next step is the tricky part. We got to take these three loops and we got to spread them apart. And when we spread them apart you should get that right there. It looks like a bow tie. Now, usually when you're first doing these knots, it might take you a couple of attempts to get that right. And even me, having tied these a lot, I still get times where I can't get that bow tie to come through. So, now that we have the bow tie, I'm just going to slide it down towards our stay lock and start pulling it tight. Use a little bit of spit for lubrication. And we're going to take our tag end. And you can do this however you want. I'm going to flip the camera now. And I'm actually going to bite the tag end with my teeth and pull it tight. there done all right you know you did it right come on camera if you can see the three loops that we created earlier see it wraps around three times one two three that's how you know you tied it right and it's good and that's it now you just do the same 
you do the same exact thing for your barrel swivel. If you're running 